What's up guys and welcome back to another video. So sorry firstly about my hair, um, you don't normally see me with my hair up, I just can't always be bothered to do it so that is what we are working with today. Um, so basically we were supposed to be doing this like um, smoky eye look and we did achieve the smoky eye but unfortunately had a slight mishap with the foundation but I wanted to get this makeup look out for you anyway just disregard the foundation that I use um, everything would have gone swimming well if I hadn't used that but yes sometimes things don't go to plan and I guess it's kind of like great for you guys to see as well because it was a real raw impression of what I thought about the foundation so there's no faking it here um, I do really really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you are new here then I am Amanda please make sure that you subscribe to my channel um, but yes this is kind of like the perfect makeup look for you guys to be wearing right now it is December it's Christmas time I literally love Christmas as you guys will have known I posted a Christmas video the other week where me and James decorated our house for Christmas so if you haven't seen that then um, make sure that you go and check it out after this video of course but yes I hope you guys enjoy it I use some different products so don't worry guys I haven't used my same old holy grail products I switched up which is why the foundation didn't really go to plan but yes I really hope you guys enjoy this video and without further ado let's jump on into it right so I've actually cracked out some old like they're not old products but they are like products that I don't use very often and I'm pretty excited to be using them again today we're obviously going to start with our eyes and I'm actually cracking out this oldie but it's definitely a goodie so this is the Kat Bondi shade and light eye palette um I don't remember I don't know if you guys remember this palette but um people used to rave about it when it first came out and I think we should go back and just appreciate it for a second. So in case you can't tell, we are going to be doing a smoky eye today. Um, so I think, well, realistically for a proper smoky eye, we should really go for this like quad here. Um, but I'm almost kind of drawn more to this one. And I feel like that's going to be better for like daytime. Feel me? So obviously with the Kat Von D, you have the neutral quads, the cool quads and the warm quads. I think I'm gonna stick with neutral. Um, I just don't fancy cool or warm at the minute. So we are gonna go with the neutral quad right here. So obviously to start off with, before we can even go in with any of our shades, we need to uh, prime our eyelids. So that is what I'm gonna do. To do that, I'm actually gonna take the Revlon Color Stay Full Coverage Concealer. Um, and mine is in the color 005, which is fair. So then I just need to set the primer on my eyes. So I'm just gonna go in with this powder. Um, obviously you can't see it's branded, but it is the RCMA No Color Powder. Um, I just decant mine into little like tr travel friendly sized um, containers basically. So I actually have two RCMA powders. I have the No Color um, powder and also the translucent. And I actually think the one I just used was the translucent powder because um, it definitely did leave some color. And the No Color one is honestly true to its word and it does not leave any color. Let me just get the real containers for you so that you guys can know what you're looking for. So this is the one that I did just use and this is the RCMA translucent powder. This is a 10 ounce pot, which is way more than a girl actually needs. This is literally lasting me forever. Don't know if you guys get... I'm just spinning it all over the floor instead. So there is a lot in there. You get so much for your money. So it's definitely a decent one to buy, especially if you like translucent powders. 
um, and then this is the RCMA no color powder um, honest to god is true it doesn't leave any color at all so it is really good so if you want to invest in those do people used to rave about them in the day like they were honestly the bomb.com now i was like onto the fun bit and the bit you guys are really here for as i said i'm gonna go with the neutral quad which are these four here so i'm just gonna take this base color and just put it over my entire lid oh, that powder's got right up my nose Then we are taking this shade here, which is like the highlighter of the palette. And we're just gonna put it on the inner corners of our eyes and also on our brow bone here, just to make it pop. So now we are gonna take this shade here i'm hoping that's focusing there's just this shade here um, i'm gonna put it in the crease of our eyelids just blend it into the edge and like lash line top lash line and also the lower lash line So, sorry guys, I've had to put my hair up because that I've got a headache and the headband which is making it so much worse. So, I'm just now going to take a brush and just blend the creases just so that it doesn't look quite so harsh. So then, for the like final bit, I'm just going to take this colour here and I'm just going to put it across the upper and lower lash line. And then I just like to drag it up along like to the outer corner of the eye and then I just like to drag it a little bit into the crease, just the outer corner. Just cause I feel like it just adds slightly more like smokiness and dimension. So I'm not quite sure how I just managed that, but I entirely missed my mouth and <laughs> spilt my water all over me, which is why I've had to do a change of clothes. So I am still filming on the same day. Um, I just am a klutz. So what I'm actually gonna do before doing my mascara is I just like to take one of these smudging brushes and I just like to smudge in or smudge out, however you wanna say it, the um, shadow you can tell that throwing water down myself has really thrown me off i just like to smudge the shadow out um it gives it a slightly more smoky look and i just like to kind of make sure that it's all kind of like blending seamlessly so i feel like i could do some more shade in this corner so i'm just going to go through just fiddle around with it and that's just kind of what you have to do you just have to fiddle around with it to make sure that you are happy with it and get it just how you want it So that is the eyes done. Um, I think they are like, they're smoky but subtle. So you could wear this during the day if you wanted to, or if you're going to like your Christmas party, then I feel like it would be a good look to wear as well. So now I'm gonna go in with our base. So I wanna try this foundation again and I've never gotten on with it. So I'm gonna try applying it a different way and seeing if that has like a different effect so what i want to do is try and use the makeup forever ultra hd foundation stick so mine is in the color y215 now i've never kind of gotten on with this foundation um i've tried applying it the way that i've seen people apply it before so they just sort of like 
drag it on their face and then they blend it out um and i don't find that that works for me so like i'll try that in one spot so we'll try that on my chin but um i feel like it doesn't always blend out that well and it actually makes me look really dry and cakey i don't know if anyone else has this same issue with this foundation so i'm just gonna try kind of like picking a load up on my beauty blender just doing this and then trying to almost like dab it into the skin I just feel like ugh, maybe you need to be quite oily for this foundation it's obviously I have combination skin I just feel as though kind of makes my skin look dried out I'm like you guys can really see the foundation on camera but I don't know we'll keep going with this I'm not having a good day today because oh, so, I hear so many people rave about this foundation wowza see this is the crazy thing right so <laughs> on camera I look like a complete ghost and that the foundation is too white but in person it matches my neck and face this is what's so frustrating I don't know so many people rave about this but I'm not having good experiences with it I've got to be honest oh my god this honestly looks awful oh my sweet Jesus Christ we're gonna go in with our MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus to try and just do our skin back up because it's so dry and disgusting from this foundation. Before I go in and set my face, I am gonna use a highlighter and I am going in with the Bare Minerals Twilight Radiance Palette. It just looks like this is a cream to powder highlighter so i'm going to go in with this shade here um and i hope that it works i'm just using my finger i can't believe this i actually look shocking this is really embarrassing i'm just going to dab this on I'm not gonna set my face. I literally, I can't take myself seriously. I can see myself in the viewfinder, which is what I keep looking at. And genuinely, I look like I've tried to do that prank on James where I do my makeup really badly um, to see what he says. Maybe this is what this video should turn into. I'm going in with the Rimmel London Clear Complexion Clarifying Powder, and that's in the color 021 Transparent. Um, and we're just going to set our entire face. So for contouring, we are going to use the Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. So yes, I do have both. Um, if you watch like my, some of my like OG videos, like... <sighs> I think I used it in a couple of those and yeah that was a long time ago girls so we are gonna contour I'm actually gonna go in with this brush here and I'm just gonna take these two shades here and mix them because one's obviously cool and one's warm so here we go boys and girls And then I'm just gonna find like a small-ish brush to do down my nose. So again, just mixing those two together and you just want to do it super duper lightly. Oh. 
oh, this is like, my face just feels disgusting. Like it feels tacky. It's just, no, 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 no. So then I'm just going to take this brush from Real Techniques and just buff out the parts of my face that I have contoured. So then I'm just gonna go in and bronze up the skin now. Um, obviously I'm just gonna go in with my butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. We're just gonna pretend like the incident with the foundation just hasn't happened, all right? Everything else is going swimmingly. We like the rest of the products, so we're just gonna ignore the incident with the foundation now and be positive. So, as I say that, I throw my products on the floor again. So now we are gonna go in with our blush. This is the Too Faced Love Flush Blush. That is a mouthful. Um, I've got mine in the color Love hangover i can't get it open here we go um this is just what it looks like really cute and isn't the packaging adorable as well just <laughs> super cute so let's just take our normal brush now this is i forgot how super pigmented this one is i just need to tap that excess off because it's very bright So now we just need to go in with our highlighter again because one highlighter isn't enough. So we are going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills with Nicole Guerrero highlighter palette. I, honest to God, was so excited when I first got this palette, when she announced that she was doing it and that we could get it in the UK. I was so god darn excited. I literally could not wait. And like now, I think I've only ever used it a handful of times. Like I put it away in my drawer because I don't want to like overuse it because, you know, I don't think I can get it again. But we're going to use it today. Also, how beautiful are all the colours? But for such a pale girl, it's quite difficult for me to find some that I can use. So... I think what we'll do is we're gonna mix them. I think we're gonna go with Go Glitter. Go Glitter? <laughs> Glow Getter, which is this middle one. And then we'll also use Forever Lip, which is kind of the pale one. So I think if we mix the two, we might be all right. Let's give it a go. Oh wow, okay, that, um, that forever lit one's quite out there, isn't it? Let's try a little bit more glow getter. Wow. That is like popping. Jesus. The only thing, I mean, that's super, that forever lit one does not want to let glow getter get in there. That is for sure. Um, the only thing I would say about this palette, and now I remember why I kind of like didn't use it, is that it's gonna sound really funny because it's highlighter. But rather than like being glowy like a lot of highlighters are, I find it quite glittery. And I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell on camera where I've got it literally all over me. But it's such a glittery, palette like you can see the grains of glitter which i don't love i'm just going in with this brush to get any excess powder off of my face so i'm just going to go in with this lip pencil from mac and it's in the color spice So for um, lip color, I'm gonna try something new. So this is the 
um, Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream. Matte Me is the name of them from Sleek Makeup. And this is in the color Birthday Suit. <laughs> So that is it guys, this is the finished makeup look, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm really sorry about kind of like the issues that I had with the foundation and the makeup change that I had and if I wasn't on my A game I was feeling a little bit under the weather during the video but I wanted to get it filmed and out for you guys so sorry if I'm not my normal cheery self. But yes I hope you guys really enjoyed this makeup look, like I said it's perfect for your work dues if you're going to some Christmas parties um christmas eve parties you know the lot or even a christmas day makeup you've got the smoky eye you could pair it with a red lip um but yes if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure that you give it a thumbs up i will link the products that i used down below if they are still available there are a couple in here which i'm not sure if they still manufacture like i really don't know if they still manufacture the Nicole Guerrero palette with Anastasia Beverly Hills. It might have been a limited time thing. I think it was, but either way, if they do still stock it, I will put it in the description box below. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a like and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye.